so much to learn about It'll make you want to shout Blippi! Hey! It's me, Blippi! And look at all the items that I have! Whoa! So many random things! But hey, in this video, we are going to do the Blippi Velocity Race! Yeah! That's where we put a lot of these items on this ramp. Yeah, see how this ramp is at an angle? Yeah, we're gonna let them go at the same time and see what item reaches the bottom first. Okay, so let's go with heat number one, the slow pokes. <laughs> we have this sweet, colorful beach ball, and then we have this really light balloon. Okay, all right. What one do you think is gonna reach the bottom first? I think I know. Three, two, one. Whoa! Did you see that? Yeah, the beach ball went to the bottom first. Okay, let's let them just, you know, get warmed up for later. And then we'll use some more items. Yeah, I'm sure all these items are gonna be a lot faster. Okay, here's another set of items. They're actually the same item. Water bottles. Yeah, but this one is empty. And this one is half full. <laughs> All right, let's put them on their side and then let's let them roll down. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Awesome. Three, two, one. Wow, the half full water bottle totally beat the empty water bottle. How do you feel after your race, half full water bottle? Oh, Blippi, I feel amazing. I can't believe I've won. Great, well, it's gonna move on to the next race. Half full water bottle versus extremely bright orange duct tape. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you ready? Ready to race. Are you ready? You know I'm ready. All right, three, two, one. Whoa, whoa, did you see that? Yeah, the water bottle rolled down way to the bottom, way quick, way faster than the duct tape. Perfect, so now it can move on to the next round. Have you ever wondered why these items, some go fast and some go slow? Yeah. It's because their velocity, yeah, velocity is basically the speed at which they're rolling down, the speed and the direction. Yeah, there's a lot of things that actually determine what the item's velocity is. I mean, like, think about it like this. There could be a lot of friction and it like can't slide or maybe it rolls compared to, you know, maybe there's sharp edges. There's just so many things that you know, determine how fast, how much velocity these items have. So let's let these two items go. We have orange over here and apple over here. And let's see who wins. Go! Whoa! They were actually really close to each other. I don't even know who won. Let's see that instant replay. All right, let's pick two more items. We have a soccer ball or a football, depends where you live, and the half full water bottle, the champion. Okay, let's see who wins. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm good to go. Are you ready? I was bored already. All right. And away we go. Whoa! I cannot believe it. The half full water bottle wins the velocity race. Whoa! And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> wow. 
wow, that was awesome learning about velocity and how fast that water bottle went and how the ramp is angled. But yeah, if the ramp was flat, it definitely wouldn't go anywhere, right? Yeah, hey, can you think of a machine that is actually really fast? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Okay, let me give you a hint. Okay, this machine does not go on the ground. Well, it does, but then it goes in the air. Yeah. Whoa, I hear one. Yeah, maybe you've got to fly in one before. Fly? Yeah, they fly in the air. Yeah, airplanes. Yeah, airplanes are really fast. And speaking of speed and velocity, I think you and I should watch the airplane video. about velocity with you and it was really fun seeing all these great items compete at the great blippy velocity race <laughs> but there's only one champion and today that was water <laughs> wow <laughs> well this is the end of this video but if you want to watch more of my videos all you have to do is search for my name will you spell my name with me B L I P-P-I, Blippi, good job. All right, see you again, bye-bye. <laughs>
it's time to learn the exterior parts of the backhoe. Come on! Wow! This backhoe is so big! Oh, and look at what else is big. Yeah, this is a big wheel and tire. Oh, and hey, up here, this is a smaller wheel and tire. Ooh, look, wow. This is tread of the tire. And tread is used so then when it spins, it doesn't slip and slide. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I am sure dizzy. <laughs> oh, come here. Wow. This right here is the cab. And this is where the operator <laughs> of the backhoe sits. Wow, so cool. Ooh, and look up there. That, though, yeah, those are the headlights. And that right there is the turn signal. So then you can drive this backhoe on city streets legally. Wow. Wow. This is a stabilizer leg, and it's normally up. But right now, it's down in the mud. So then when the backhoe is digging, it's nice and stable. Whoa, I am so stable. Woo, and this of the backhoe is called the boom. That up there is the arm. And this arm is actually pretty special because it has an extender <laughs> That was awesome! Ooh, and look at this. This is the back bucket of the backhoe. It can get some pretty big scoops. <laughs> we'll get some together later. Come on. That is the exhaust. That's where the engine pushes all of its exhaust from. Whoa! <laughs> oh, hey, look at this. This is the front bucket, and it's really big, even bigger than the back bucket. And this front bucket is actually pretty special. It is a four-in-one bucket and it acts like a clamshell. I love clams. <laughs> wow, look at this. These are hydraulic hoses. This is a hydraulic cylinder and hydraulics are used to provide power by pushing fluid through them to the front and the back bucket. Wow, I love back hose. It's time to drive and operate the backhoe. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. Are we forgetting something? Yeah. First things first. Safety first. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. I got my hard hat on and my orange safety vest. All right, now it's time to drive and operate the backhoe. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. I think we're forgetting something else. Yeah, we need to make sure that the engine is good to go. 
So let's go check it. Come on. So this is the hood of the engine. So let's open it up. Whoa, this is a massive engine. See, this is the air filter. This is the coolant. There's a giant tube from the radiator, the alternator, the battery. Wow, this is so powerful. But what you and I need to do is check the oil and it's down there. All right, so the oil is down there with the yellow O dipstick. The transmission is over there with the T dipstick. So let's grab the yellow O dipstick. Oh. Yeah. Okay, we need to wipe it off. Put it back in. So now we can inspect the oil. Yeah, looks like it's okay. <laughs> All right, put it back in. And now that the backhoe is good to go, we can drive it. Let's go. Now we're inside the backhoe. Ooh, and first things first, safety first. We have to put on our seatbelt. Good job. The cool thing about backhoes are there's a front side and a back side. So we'll check out the front side. Whoa, look at this. This is the steering wheel. This is how you drive the backhoe. <laughs> Ooh, and this right here, this is the shifter. This is how you put it in forward or reverse. And over here, this, yeah, they're the turn signals. As well as, listen. <laughs> yeah, the horn. <gasps> and this, this is how you operate the front bucket. You pull it back to make it go up. You push it forward to make it go down. Yeah, it's so great. And now let's go check out the back, okay? Wow, as you can see, the back is where the boom is, the arm, the bucket, and the stabilizer legs. And how you operate those is primarily with these two joysticks. This one, oh, whoa, whoa, and this one, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now both of them at once, ready? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Ooh, and check out this little black button. Okay, listen. Yeah, good job. All right, now it's time to use the backhoe. Let's turn it on. are the most versatile machine on the job site because it has the big front bucket and the small back bucket. Whoa! Whoa! 
Oh, ho, ho. now it's time for the backhoe dance. And how you do it is when you see a backhoe front bucket on the screen, you dance like this, okay? And when you see a back backhoe bucket, you dance like this. <laughs> All right, here we go. An excavating machine digging in the earth. <laughs> okay, get ready. It's got a bucket attached to a hinge and a boom. It's called a backhoe and it's really cool. A backhoe at construction sites, digging trenches for laying pipes. <laughs> All right, here comes another one. But it cleans it up so easily. A backhoe, backhoe. Last one. Ah! A back home, back home, back home dance. Good job. learning about backhoes with you. Thanks so much for watching the Blippi Backhoe video. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? All right. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. See you again, bye-bye. Bucket trucks. And in this video, we are going to learn about yeah! Bucket trucks! Woohoo! Woo! Okay, now I'll show you the parts of the bucket truck. Come on! Woo! Look at this! A compartment! Whoa, there's so many cool things in here. Like a tape measure, and... Ooh, a flathead screwdriver. <laughs> so many other cool things in there. Ooh, another compartment. Whoa, giant snippers. Snip, snip, snip. And, whoa, look at this. Really heavy mallet. <laughs> That's heavy. Okay, shut that. Ooh, look, a fire extinguisher just in case if there's a fire anywhere. <laughs> Ooh, and some road cones up here. Oh, look down here. Whoa, this is a stabilizer leg. They go down and stabilize the truck while the operator is really high in the sky in the bucket. <laughs> okay, let me show you up here. Wow, look at this. This is a go light and it moves. See? <laughs> okay, check this out. It's like a spotlight. Watch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's kind of like it's a disco light. <laughs> Come on. Whoa. Look up here. These are the lower controls that operate the boom in the bucket from down below right here. Ooh. And spray paint? Wow, I bet that's useful. And, whoa, look at these giant bolts. Wow, that's huge. And then we have some more cones and some folded up road signs. There's a lot of them in here. And come back here. Wow, see this is the bucket. That's where you stand and then you go really high in the sky. That is so cool. Oh yeah, come here. I'll show you inside the bucket van. Come on. Wow, there's other cool things in here. Like, oh, another screwdriver. <laughs> okay, here 
here, take a peek. Wow. Whoa, look. I set out some stuff that was inside the bucket van. Okay, we have a pedestrian headlight. It says stop and go. And it counts down right there. Ooh, a socket wrench. <laughs> and a small adjustable wrench. A medium adjustable wrench. And a giant adjustable wrench. <laughs> this is called a crow's foot. Wow, it's used for odd shaped nuts and bolts like that. <laughs> Whoa, isn't that cool? Hmm, look over here. We have a red light, a yellow light, and a green light. Whoa, and speaking of green lights, look, this is the green light button tester. Just like when emergency vehicles, like police cars and fire trucks, when they need to get somewhere really quick, they have a button inside that shoots a light, whoa, into this thing, ah, it's really bright. And then that turns the lights green. Whoa, okay, ooh, another road cone. road sign oh, and speaking of safety we have our safety equipment like my bright orange vest Whoa. see so orange and then whoa look at this this is a harness this is used so then you wear it while you're up in the bucket. So then if anything ever happens, you're strapped into the bucket. So, strap this right here, okay? And then, oh, one around your belly, perfect. And then two down here, <laughs> got it nice and tight. And another down here, wow. Now I feel really safe, but still, oh. Jeez, this is kind of heavy. But I gotta put on my gloves. Bright orange gloves. One. Two. And last but not least, my hard hat. Whoa! <laughs> Here we come. Going really high in the air. You guys see the traffic signal lights? We're just gonna do some maintenance and make sure that they work. Okay, it looks like the lights are in perfect working order. Now, we're gonna head on over here the black thing over there and that is a sensor and it senses the magic green light button now that we're at this little black sensor we just need to clean it and then we need to test it and this is used for when emergency vehicles push their magic green button to flash lights and then it'll turn green watch here looking at this street light. It's an LED street light. And it wasn't working, but we fixed the wiring. Fixing the lights up in the sky, there's a handyman. Way up high on that neon sign, high above the land. And everybody wants to know, how did he get way up there? 
Just like that, going. 